make a new slide on adapter uh, so that we can have the filament come down and use the bearing back here. Let me show you how it's turned out. All right, so here we are in Tinkercad, and this is my default extruder bearing because I've been making many, many copies of this. So let me show you how Tinkercad works real quick. Uh, you can take multiple objects and group them, which I have. So you can see these are just two little rectangles, and they are two millimeters thick and two millimeters thick, and there's a three millimeter gap between them. And that's simply how our parts are built. Then I just took a couple cylinders and I turned them from solids into holes. I added a top support so that it had some strength, another support, and then I just stacked a couple more cylinders and put a tiny cap on so it holds our part in place. Once you've got all your parts created the way you want, simply hit group and then you can export and print just like you would with any other piece of software. There are lots of cool tricks for using views. You can zoom to the exact sizes. You can just jump back out to home. But it is a super simple way to just stack, build, adjust, test, and then come back and finally get your object where you think it's perfect. When this item prints, you will need to add supports. A lot of times I build my supports in Mesh Mixer, but today I just use the default uh, supports in Kira. All right, so the goal is to use this piece of metal here and these two let's call them pins uh, to hold the bearing in place so I wanted to create a snap-on connector which once again I built using Tinkercad all right so our part is right here and this groove is just gonna slide over and lock in on those two pieces and then we can attach our bearing right here that we created for the other projects first time you attach the bearing sometimes it takes a little bit of work that's because I added a little nub so that it stays on there boom snapped into place grab my filament wheel and let's slide over and check it out in place all right so this is designed a little bit snug as well but what's cool is because of that it snaps in nice and snug and boom our filament is now totally being guided in place and there we have our friends in action using the new bearing making a silly little ring of mine friends I'm thinking this is gonna be a pretty sweet little uh, bearing it's snap on so it's super simple the path looks like it's spot on and I'm pretty darn pleased with it Friends, if you like the video, please hit the like button. If you're interested in subscribing, please click subscribe. If you want to add a comment, please add it in the comments down below. And if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from HL Mod Tech, click that notification bell. Have a great day, Ender friends.